Do you want to start singing, uh, Maureen? I can sit down Simplify. now. When they play that song, the Marine Corps hymn, you know you have to uh, stand up. This is the Seneca High School Band from Attica, Ohio. And they're pretty good. I think it's fantastic that people come from the far corners of America to New York to participate in this parade. It's fantastic. Everybody's showing their pride today on a windy, but Nice day, sunny day in New York City. We're happy to have you here and celebrate the New York City Veterans Day Parade with us. I'm Rosanna Scotto. I'm Greg Kelly along with Paul Buka, Paul Buka. Medal of Honor recipient. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Thank you. Uh, it's very well attended, by the way. I would say several, what, maybe 50, 60,000 people? I don't know. You, it's five and ten deep on the, the, no. this, on the streets, which we is fantastic. We have almost 35, 40,000 walking in the parade. 270 So do you groups. think this is the largest group so far? Yes. By the way, the Toys for Tots program. We are coming up on Christmas, and for a long time now, the Marine Corps, every holiday season, they collect toys for underprivileged children. You can donate an uh, unwrapped toy to a bin. They're located all over the city, and it's a really wonderful uh, cause. Toys for Tots, run by the United States Marine Corps. All right, I think it's time to go to Mike Woods. He I has think a special guest. A special guest. Yeah, we have uh, we have Terrence Holiday, and he is the uh, the commissioner to the mayor's office of Veter Veterans Affairs. Uh, I'm I'm the commissioner of the mayor's office of Veterans Affairs. Yep. I work directly for Mayor uh, Mike Mike Lumber. And and so this is a big uh, production. This whole parade. I mean, what does this day mean for the veterans and everyone out here in New York City? Well, it's an outstanding day. It's. Uh, it's a day where we can remember, we can honor, we can understand the dedication that veterans um, have done to keep us free. And also it gives us an opportunity to reflect on the young men and women who are still out there doing what they have to do today so that we're able to march up Fifth Avenue. And what do you think the uh, response is like with the crowd out here in New York? Because, I mean, there's a lot going on, obviously, right now. And there's a lot of support out here. But, uh, you know, do you think it's uh, is you doing uh, justice out here? You know, this morning I was on my way in um, uh, to an event at Gracie Mansion. It was a young man who was taking offense apart. He looked up at me and he said, good morning, sir. Have a nice day. I realized that he was a vet. I followed him across the street, I thanked him. The people around me saw that I did that. The feelings are genuine, the feelings are sincere, and people understand the commitment that men and women are making in the, in, in the service. Uh, we have to understand that today only less than 1% of the population of the United States ever serves in the military. That other 99% realizes what we're doing, and a lot of them, and New York is a very friendly town in terms of the military that says hello, thank you, we appreciate your service. And that's what this is all about. So uh, so we appreciate it. And we have all sorts of great participants. Is there anything in particular? I mean, we have all sorts of folks that are out here that you look forward to uh, seeing the parade. Well, uh, I'm the commissioner, and I reach out to all of the services. The fact that I retired from the Air Force as a colonel, I don't want to let you think that I'm leaning one way or the other. <laughs> I'm just happy to see everybody out here, particularly some of the vets, because we've got them from all generations, uh, from World War II to the current conflict. We've got a lot of people out here. I, I hope you have a chance to meet uh, Sergeant Dakota Meyer, Buddy Butte, the Medal of Honor. People have to understand what the Medal of Honor means and what it took for these men to step forward and, 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 and do this. And you would hope that you could do something like that, but you know, they are special. They're yes. very special people and they did special things. All right, Commissioner, thank, thank you, you very much for right. coming out here. Happy Veterans Day and, and hats off to you as well. Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely. Greg Rosanna, we'll send it over to you. Mike, nicely done. And as we uh, were listening to that interview, we saw some Purple Heart recipients uh, go by on a float. And Purple. now we're looking at uh, 
U-Haul. <laughs> the good people from U-Haul actually are doing a lot to hire veterans uh, leaving military service. We heard from J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, their their amb ambition is to hire 100,000 veterans over the next eight years in coordination with other companies. And U-Haul is doing uh, much the much the same thing. They have partnered with uh, the U.S. Army Recruiting Command, and uh, I'm told that this partnership allows U-Haul to provide priority recruiting status to qualified members of the Army who are participating in their program. So, uh, it's veterans? Also, yeah. also important to say, as long as this parade's been in New York, from when it was 300 people to 30,000 people marching, U-Haul's been there for the veterans. Well, that's good to know. Listen, especially in these very tough times where people have a hard time uh, finding a job, it's nice to know that there are companies out there doing their best to hire. Well, my experience with the U-Haul company when I was in the military, you know, you move all the time when you're in the military. I moved probably, I think, six times in, uh, in nine years. U-Haul. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yep, yep. They always, you drove uh, your own U-Haul, huh? You drove your own U-Haul. Uh, That's you're, a you're scary pressed. thought. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're so happy that you're with us uh, on 11-11-11 to celebrate all our veterans. Please stay with us.